I think we've started. All right, you ready yeah, to yeah. do this thing? Yep. As right, ready let's... as I can ever be, considering this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's start recording in three, two, one. Welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Moonpeer Boston Rebirth. I remembered which show we we're doing. I'm your host, Boston. Joining me as always is Moonpeer. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, let's just let's get the dailies out of the way. I had a bad week. You know, you didn't have a bad week. But a bad week implies that you had some negative luck. You had, <laughs> I had a fighting chance. I did not yes. this week. <laughs> no. This week, I mean, I don't, I don't actually know what happened, but the second day being an Azzy run, I was thinking, yeah, this is good, but I don't know what happened, but you just fell apart now. <laughs> just the whole week, like, it's been a bad baby week, uh, you know, I, I've been fighting off this infection, you know, it's been, it's, it's been a rough week, and it's one of those things where it's like, okay, I'm gonna do the, bina- the Isaac Daily today, I'm gonna do great, it's the second floor I'm doing all right, I'm done. It's like uh, yep. okay, I think the my my bottom this week was when we were playing. It was earlier in the week, and I died. Oh, it was the lost, and I died on the, like the second floor boss. It was Peep, and I was yep. just like this. Yeah, this this I'm gonna keep trying this week, but I I don't I don't feel very good about what's happening here. Yeah, because if I'm right, that was also day three, which took it to me beating you three zero, and yeah. I was. I was really happy. I didn't know about the infection at the time, yeah. but I was still really happy about it, thinking, yay, I'm, I'm dominating, I'm doing so well, this yeah. is great. Oh, Boston's sick. Yeah, just have one of those have one of those off weeks. You know, you just can't, you can't get a run together. And, you know, it's it was rough. It's This week had a, a, a lost run. Uh, an Azzy run. An Azzy run, had a Maggie run, which was just, I hate mm-hmm. Maggie so much. Um, but I did pretty well today on uh, the Lazarus run today. Yes, whereas I did absolutely horribly today because <laughs> the the best part for me about the the Lazarus run today was I beat Boss Rush. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a uh, Yeah, which was I was very annoyed because I was getting a lot of kills with it and zero black hearts. Oh yeah, and that was literally it was killing me because I was losing health and not getting anything back for it. Yeah. Um and I at the very last item in the boss rush, like the last boss, I killed him. And I was like, Oh wow, he just dropped two black hearts. Mm-hmm. I ran over there. Uh forgot that it was um I think it could have been who was it? I think it was one of the horsemen who leaves the green slime on the floor. Yeah. I didn't wait long enough and I stepped oh, no. on the slime and I killed myself <sighs> literally lying between two black hearts. <laughs> That's one of those ones where you just like turn the Xbox off and you're like, "Yep, I'm. That's I'm. Nope, I'm out." Can't no kidding. This. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> yeah, I just you just, silently yeah. walk away. I literally turned on my Xbox, and did my Isaac daily. That happened. I turned my Xbox off and then went and did chores. <laughs> that's how much it <laughs> was one of those days. Yeah, I managed to um, squeak out both Steven and Cricket's head along with Guppy and. Um, pinking shears on this run so i was and i also had both of the um the battery items so i could hold two charges and it mm-hmm. charges quicker so i was i was an unstoppable death tank oh yeah it felt like a really powerful run even at boss rush point it felt like dead okay my fire rate is high i'm doing a lot of damage yeah you know the only downside to it was the health situation was pretty bad at that point yeah and i was just an idiot yeah yeah. But no, the Mikey run yesterday, I was very surprised at how well I did on that, to be honest, because it it makes me laugh. You can tell the evolution of a player of Isaac, because when I first started, we discussed Maggie, and I loved her at that point because she has so much health. Yeah. I absolutely adored her. And now at the point where we're up to, where it's you need to hit boss rush you need to hit you know <laughs> just push. get moving i hate her now so slow <laughs> i absolutely hate maggie yeah and it's it's unbelievable how much my stance on her has changed yeah solely based on the more i play and the more i know what i'm doing i just can't you know it's just i can't bear her anymore like i literally yeah. can't bear her anymore well that's a good thing about afterbirth plus one of the challenges gives you every time you start as maggie she starts with a speed up pill 
helps mm-hmm. a little bit, but I, I think you bring up a good point. I, I've never really thought about that where, you know, Isaac and Maggie as your sort of starting characters aren't really that good. Maggie's obviously slow, but has yum heart and a lot of health. And Isaac's, none of Isaac's stats are good. But I, I think when you look at the benefit of Isaac carrying the D6, he immediately turns into a character where you're like, okay, well, anything can happen on this run now. Yeah. And Maggie, even with a speed up pill, doesn't get that much. You know, she's still not that great. Yeah, she's not. But again, at, the, at that point, and when you start with her, she's really useful for getting into the game for for taking the hits. Yeah, and being able to keep on trucking. She is still one of the best, I think, because she does allow you that extra little survivability that you don't get with Isaac at first. Yeah. And Young and, Heart only, uh, its recharge time is only four rooms, so that's pretty good. Yeah, it works out pretty nicely. Like, I loved her when I first started, but now that I am quote-unquote a pro player, <laughs> yes, uh, she just, I don't know, it, it is, it's just the speed. It's like, yeah, great, I can do a bunch of deals with the devil, but these deals with the devil better be things that give me speed, yeah. because that's what I need. Yeah, it's the one time you want to pick up, like, Wooden Spoon and the belt. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's the same with Azzy. Like, uh, when I'm playing as Azzy, if I see one of Mom's items, I am happy as a pie. Yep. Because it's additional range for his very limited range it, to start with. But if you can get a couple of Mom's items with Azzy, then it's kind of, what's it called? The the blood, the bur- laser barrage. Yeah. It's that without actually having to sacrifice the, those hearts to get it. Yeah. Yeah. But no, they, uh, yeah, the, the dailies this week were, they were good. Yeah. Some of them were, I felt some of them were overly punishing, but that's the beauty of the dailies. <laughs> one will be a kick to the teeth, and then the next one will be, you know, a, a glorious run like today, for example, where as long as you don't make a mistake and step on green slime, you just smash through everybody. Yeah. Like if I'm right, didn't you, did you do the mega Satan part of it as well? Yep. Yep. And yeah. he's not an easy task, so. You know, it's always handy to have that that little kicker at the end of the week where it's just like, go on, enjoy yourself, have a good time. Yeah, I managed to grab a 48-hour energy pill, so when I went into both Hush and Mega Satan, I was able to use um, Pinking Shears four times. So I had, like, Guppy and then Incredible Strength and four little Isaac bodies behind me, so... Oh wow! I, I even made short work of Hush. Like I think my total time was thirty minutes in that yeah, run, which all the way to on Mega, a Mega Satan. Satan run. That's a and I pretty explored, fast one. I explored everything except for like two rooms on the first floor. I mean, I was cooking. Yeah, that's a good run. I'm yeah. kind of. I might go and actually have a practice run of that tonight, and then just to enjoy it because there's a lot of items which I'm getting on the dailies, which I've I've unlocked a lot of stuff now, but. It's. I'm still learning what a lot of stuff does. Yeah. Um. Like, I can't remember. I think it was. It wasn't the Maggie run. It might have been the Azzy run this week, where like I found Death Mask. Like there was a mystery Mega Satan. Oh, sorry, a mystery Devil Deal room that mm-hmm. I unlocked, and it was two hearts and one heart. Yeah. Uh, the one heart was the pentagram, and the two hearts was the Death's Visage or whatever it is, where you start firing the Reap, the the Grim Reaper. Side. Oh, uh, Death's Touch. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I love and Death's Touch. As soon as I did that, that was just before Boss Rush, and then Boss Rush had um, the Rubber Cement, which yeah. was like my favorite combination. <laughs> yeah, I picked that one up too because I was uh, at that point. I think we had. Because of something else, we had Spectral Tears already, and I was like, all right, well, Rubber Cement is going to destroy Spectral Tears, but the idea of these giant scythes bouncing around the screen is way too fun to pass up. And yep. I was right. That was a hell of a lot of fun. It really was. Um, actually, then that could have been the Maggie run then. Yeah, I don't remember. It was one of the two. Yeah, but uh, proud papa that you are. Yes. Yay! Congratulations. Moon takes week number two. Yeah, I, two to Boston and five to Moon. I think it's, I think it's a lot more fun now because uh, any week is either one of ours. Like mm-hmm. we, we, both of us now have a fighting chance to to take the week, and I think that's really exciting. 
Yeah, I, I think it, it was about a month ago, I think, when we... Uh, maybe... Yeah, it was about a month ago when I started realizing that I was still losing to you, but I was getting that 200-point difference or the 400-point yeah. difference. I was like, okay, I know I'm gaining on him now because... <laughs> It's not a 20,000 point difference between the runs anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's 200 points. Yeah. At most, it's like 2,000. Yeah. yeah. And unless we have like stupid mistakes, but that happens. That's kind of the whole point of the game and of the dailies is you make mistakes, you deal with it kind of thing. Yeah. I think I remember talking to you about one of the dailies this week uh, where actually, no, it was probably last week we were talking about, and I was saying to you, I made horrendous decisions in regards to what I was picking up because like pedestal items wise because I've got the flow chart better but I still don't know my builds quite yet Right. like I don't know if this thing I'm picking up, normally I love it but then I might pick it up and it might do something damaging to me that I'm not aware of because it doesn't go with my build right. like my flow chart is getting faster but my build like layout is still a bit iffy Yeah. but no I mean it's it was a really fun week for dailies, to be honest. Like, I genuinely enjoyed them, and I enjoyed them without the necessity of beating you, which that that's just like a nice little cherry on <laughs> yeah, top of the Yeah, that's, you know, just some gravy. Mm-hmm. Um, because they were fun. Like, the, it was, I felt like, a, despite the fact that it was a weird week, it felt like a fun week for them as well. Yeah. Like, there was no, like, oh, you're going to die in the third room because there's seven of those stupid little green fellas who spit explosive bullets <laughs> right. at you. Right. Which has happened to me before. And it sounds like a normal lost run where it's like, oh, I'm doing pretty. Nope. I'm dead. All right. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, it, the, the dailies were really fun. Um, progression wise this week, let's, let's talk about my abject failures, shall oh, we? No. So this is. I'm going to save the best till last so we can end on the most depressing <laughs> story of the week, as is suitable <laughs> for a Binding of Isaac podcast. Uh, but I took another two hits at XXXXXXXL. Mm -hmm. They didn't go great. Okay. Uh, again, it's one of those things where I need to sit down and focus with them. Like, yeah. I can't do my normal thing where I sit down and just play it. It's just like, ah, la 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 la. Yeah, listen to no, some I, music. Mm hmm. Yeah. No, it's it, with that one, I need to make sure I'm focused. Uh, I did two runs as Kane, who so far I have only beaten Mom's Heart on Hard, and I've, his post it note is so empty. Oh, yeah. So I thought, oh, I'll, I'll do some Kane runs. I like him. I like his increased look. Uh, no, I was an idiot both times. Uh, <laughs> I think I beat Mom's Heart both times with him and then immediately made stupid mistakes straight afterwards. Mm. But it's different with the regular runs to the dailies because I'm not taking the regular runs seriously anymore. Like, it's oh, not the. Right. You know, it's not the be all and end all. If I have a run and I fail, it doesn't bother me like it used to. Because You're having like, some fun. Mm -hmm. there's yeah. always another run there there's always some more progression to be made I feel like that's the biggest thing for Isaac is when you have that mentality of y you you figure out that not every run is a winner and then you're like alright well this one wasn't a winner you know sometimes it's not even your fault you know it's like I played really well and I just I got mom items the whole time and the mom transformation is useless so I I died on the womb too because I had no health and no damage. Well, all right, mm -hmm. let's try it again. Yeah, and I th like it seems like I mean, like I said, I did two cane runs. I think I did one Maggie run, and I think I did <laughs> for fun. I did one keeper run. <laughs> yeah, and all of them just ended up being horrendous. But it's not like I said, it's not hitting me the way it used to. It used to be if I failed the run, it's like mm, I could have done so much more. But now it's just, eh, that's fine. Yeah, Next sometimes time. the chips don't fall the right way. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so progression wise I didn't actually make any solid progression this week but I feel like mentally I've progressed a lot because I feel yeah. like I'm embracing the nature of the game a bit better right. you're embracing the Isaac Zen yes uh, <laughs> however there was one moment where I'm not kidding I almost broke my elite controller my TV and my Xbox One Yeah. and this is the really depressing story okay. so I took a shot at speed oh no I took a shot at speed, and it was an incredible run. Oh, no. God's eye. Nice. Really high fire rate. Yeah. Fantastic drops. Flew through it really, really quick. And I can't remember. that. I think speed ends on Mom's heart, if I'm right. I think so, yeah. I got all the way up to Mom's heart. 
a limited run on health, but I wasn't too bothered by it because the items I had, I was absolutely fine with. Um, took a stupid hit I didn't need to take. The counter ticked over to 20 on one second. I took half a heart's worth of damage, and I died. Oh, no. With It Lives dead and the trophy in the middle of the room. Oh, my God. <laughs> Four pixels away from Why? picking up the It Lives trophy. I was... Uninstall Isaac. I'm done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Literally, it took all of my effort to gently place my controller down and walk away. It's like, like that's it's like that scene in Bridesmaids. It's like you know, you know when I said before was the bottom, this is my bottom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is this is the lowest I will go. All of the keeper runs I've done, all of the greed mode runs I've done, all of the you know the failures and the mistakes I've made. That's all fine. This is quite possibly the worst thing I've ever felt while playing this game. This is someone pushing you off an edge when you need help and spitting you as you're fall- spitting on you as you're falling. Like- yeah, one hundred percent. It was unbelievable. Like, my, I think my wife might have been playing Rainbow Six Siege at the time because this was, I think, this was last Sunday. This happened, mm-hmm. and it took. I literally yelled, and the f bomb as loud as I could. <laughs> My wife gave me a funny look, like just out of the corner of the eye, like the little sideways glance. Like, hey, what's going on over there? And then all she saw was me quit the game, put my controller down, and walk out of the room. Heard your racking sobs from the bedroom. Just <laughs> yeah, it was. I that was sucks. so so sad and so upset because it was literally. I mean, we've discussed this. That challenge is not an easy challenge. No, and I was breezing through it the whole way. And it's one of those things where it's like, I know if I would have just skipped two different rooms, two rooms I went into that I didn't need to, or maybe instead of going left, if I went right and got to the boss room earlier, it would have been fine. But no, it ticked over, it did that damage, and it killed me literally with the the completion right in front of me. It's like, I keep envisioning like a marathon runner at the end of like a 30 mile run and literally two inches before the finish line, they just fall over and die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you were going to be in first, and you died. Yep. God, that... speed. Mm-hmm. So, I didn't try any more challenges after doing that. Yeah, no. like a... <laughs> At that point, I was like, dust my hands, and we'll do the dailies and some normal runs this week, I think. Yeah, wow. That is the worst. Mm-hmm. And, like... The real insult to injury is now you have to do it again. Yep. <laughs> like, that's, that's the, real... the part that bothers me. Uh, and you know you're going to have to have a handful of runs before you find the run again. Mm hmm. Because I've, like, I mean, we, I think we've talked about it. Like, I've been diving back into the challenges the past couple of weeks. Yep. I jumped into it. I was, you know, I do one or two, attempt to do one or two a week. And it was just like that, that run. Like yeah. we talked, we mentioned earlier, like you have runs where you know they're not winners, where you know that this run isn't going to be great. You might be able to get far, but if it if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Yeah, that run felt like the winner. One hundred percent felt like the winner. Man. Mhm. What a what a kick to the plums. I yeah. To say I almost quit this week for Isaac would be an understatement. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to, you want to end this show. Yeah, that'd be a hell of a way to do it, man. I, but yeah, that is the probably the last thing I have to say about it this week, just because that story in itself that is one of the that shows you the amazing power of Isaac. Mm-hmm. Like in a world of video games where it's hard to garner a reaction out of seasoned veterans like us, that making me want to just smash everything tells you how much you can be invested in such a simple concept and such a simple game. Yeah. Uh, the only piece of news we have this week is uh, Ed McMillan, McMillan sorry, uh, has verified that the Afterbirth Plus release date for PS4 is 9-19, which I'm hoping is not September 2019. Hopefully it's <laughs> Tuesday like the physical edition. Uh, you'll also notice no one is talking about the Xbox One version for reasons I really don't understand what the hell. Yep. I'm, I'm hoping it's one of those things where, like, Tuesday morning it's just up on the Xbox marketplace. 
Yeah, I hope so. I'll, I'm, I might have a check tonight when I go downstairs again and see if it's on the marketplace yet. Yeah. But I, the, the only thing I can think of is, has he got a partnership with Sony? But as far as I know, he didn't no. have anything like that with them. No, Afterbirth came out on both platforms at the same time. So and who knows? Weird. Uh, but that's our episode this week. Thank you, everyone, very much for listening. Uh, and thank you for Moonpeer for capturing the basement yet again. Uh, you're welcome. It's my basement this week. And we'll see you all next week. Bye. And thank you for watching the video. Bye. Bye-bye.